Hello guys, what's up? This is Game Mission Audio for the programming video. Um, in this one, we're going to discuss regulating frames per second in our Pi game application. Now, if you run this program, if you remember from the last time, we, we, are, we have a moving player, but um, it doesn't feel very under control. So, it skips frames, it moves very fast, and the way we're going to um, regulate this is we're just going to make it run a certain amount of time per second so first thing you can think of is like okay I'm just going to import time I'm just going to make time.sleep and let the CPU stop for a hundred of a second so if you run this you will see that this actually works um, but there's one problem you can let it do this, uh, but this will actually occupy CPUs um, one hundredth of a time. While while it's sleeping, it could actually be going at millions of instructions, but you're just making it stop and concentrate on this one. So, Pygame has a solution for this. Um, you don't have to import anything for it, which is pretty convenient if you ask me. Just going to do clock equals Pygame dot time dot clock, and I'm going to set a frames per second variable. Set it 120. Um, for demonstration purposes, you could say. And I'm just going to do clock dot tick FPS. So it is regulated. And your CPU can be um, executing other stuff while this is um, regulating its um, F frames per second. So yeah, um, please leave a like if you have learned and enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.